Hi there, quick recap. Number one, it's free preset Friday. Number two, we are in a series of these because I am building out a pack of basic data visualization and graphs and charts preset pack for DaVinci Resolve. The plan is to release one of these per week for free. And then after that week, those presets get added to one larger uh, all included paid pack. Now we're still getting this thing rolling. So this week is a little different because that final paid pack is not yet available. So little consolation prize, this week's free preset. Uh, I'm also including last week's free preset in case you missed it last week. My priority this week will be to get to, you know, sort of a minimum viable product for this expanded pack. Even though, yes, I do plan on continue adding and expanding to that pack as we go through the weeks. But that's something we can worry about in the future. Right now, uh, you've got two free presets. Well, one of them you already saw last week. But if you missed that one, two free presets. If you follow the link in the description, you'll get to the download page for this SSC graph preset. Uh, this is named the exact same as last week. So if you also grabbed last week, this will overwrite that. Uh, it's a DRFX. Uh, so if you just double click that, Resolve will ask you if you want to uh, install uh, or overwrite. If you've already installed the previous version, you can click overwrite. And then I'm gonna just make a new blank timeline. And in my effects library, generators, strong supply code, graphs, we have graph one and graph two. Graph one is what we gave away last week. This nice little circle percentage chart that's, you know, super customizable, all this fun stuff. But this week we got graph two, which is a bare bones bar graph. Some stuff is the same from last week. Some stuff is pretty different. So uh, stick around to make sure um, you understand all these controls. <laughs> First is this main value select. You see right now it's set to six. And importantly, uh, this one also has a custom minimum and maximum value. So if I take this minimum back down to zero and change this uh, value select to five, it will be exactly halfway in between. But if I change that minimum to something like four, now that five will be much closer, but still proportionally closer. Or if I bump this max all the way up to 20, then yeah, five's way down there. We can bump this value up to 10. You see, you see where this is going. All the math happening behind the scenes, uh, you know, is math accurate. So all your proportions will be correct. A lot of time you'll probably want to keep this uh, minimum at zero. But if you don't, uh, especially if you drag in multiple versions of these, uh, changing this minimum could be value to see, you know, variation between a lot of different values, but between a confined scale. Two really important settings after that are this animation time scale and animation time offset. This animation does begin right off the bat. If you want a little delay, just pull up this animation time offset and it'll hold and then animate on. And animation time scale is the, the, you know, the scale of this animation. So if you were to pull it down by 0.5, that would be half speed and it would take that much longer to animate in. Or if you were to pull it up to something like two, it would animate much quicker. Then we've got some basic look effects like this background bar opacity if you want it on there at all. And we do have separate colors uh, for these background and foreground bars. And then some interesting stuff is happening on the text. I have this text label switch, which I'm gonna leave for now, because under that we have three sections with all these text controls for each of these numbers here. You can pull up the, the scale or change this however you want, change up the font. But you'll also notice that here I have this text field where it just says select. And if I click this text labels box, it replaces those actual number values um, with completely customizable, uh, you know, text that you can type in. You could come in and change uh, this like maximum to like goal and select to like, I don't know. $10. Like you could write in whatever you want to communicate that much more visually. If you want to get rid of something, just empty the, out the text field. Flexibility. Like I've said, these effects are pretty bare bones, but there is tons of customization in here. Uh, and especially if you drag on like multiple versions uh, all the way down at the bottom, you also have main uh, like different controls. Um, you can change these up, um, have a whole field of them doing interesting stuff. You know, you could you could build something pretty cool with not a tremendous amount of effort. Zero. 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 
I'm very excited about this pack that's building, and I do want feedback to be a big part of it. So if there is a specific kind of graph or chart or you know data visualization that you think is entry level enough to be a part of this pack, absolutely let me know. And whether you're already following along week by week or hopping in this week, uh, you know, grab these presets. If you're coming to this video at a later date, these specific presets might no longer uh, be freely available, but at that point, they will be part of a larger uh, one-time fee paid pack that might still be updating depending on when you're watching this video. That's all, a little update, uh, free preset for you who are following along. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.